here hi guys so let's look at this question here this question says that a uh, prince took a home loan for maintenance of house and amount to rupees 331000 okay it's a very good question nice question of compound interest plus installments concept okay so give it a try before seeing solution so he bought a uh, 3 lakh 3 lakh 31000 loan at an interest rate of 10% per annum compounded annually right okay the loan has to be repaid in three equal annual installments he also borrowed rupees y from mr sadhu his best friend who did not charge any rate but got assurance from him that prince will pay an amount equals to half of his yearly house installment every year to him right so after paying with such condition prince cleared all the amount borrowed from mr sadhu by paying check of rupees 55000 at the end of third year find the value of y got it the second part is on uh, just to make uh, just to make this question lengthy and confuse uh, uh, confuse you as it is a general case in arithmetic questions in cat and zat level uh, questions right so now uh, basically see this question here so we know the concept of compound interest right and installment just see the our in uh, ci videos okay uh, on road i have uploaded videos on of compound interest so i discussed this fund of installments there you can just uh, we can just revise that once okay see the fund actually here is let's say the loan amount is rupees 331000 okay so the loan amount is mm, okay so the concept to solve such question is guys so get get the concept is a very general concept for all the questions and you can apply in all such uh, all similar questions right the general concept act actually here is what you do let's say you take a loan of rupees 331000 okay and you distribute this in uh, sorry and you pay this in three installments right so let's say the at the end of first year right so let's say at the end of first year okay at the end of first year here goes my first installment of let's say rupees p okay at the end of second year here goes my second installment again let's say rupees p at the end of third year here goes my third installment again rupees p right and my total loan gets cleared okay now the fund here is guys so basically what is rupees p here rupees p is the amount p includes interest right what happens p includes interest okay because p is an installment so whenever whenever i'm buying loan from the bank and i'm paying back installment to the bank right i'm paying back installment in installment so actually it includes interest right because i have bought loan from the bank but what actually i'm paying is i'm paying back loan plus interest what i'm paying back here guys i'm paying loan plus interest right so every installments include so every installment includes interest that's in, that's a point right okay so if every installment will include interest here so what i can say here is for example so this first installment is rupees p and it is paid at the end of first year right so whatever be uh, my loan amount right is irrespective of amount here let's say they charge a interest of r percent in general right so if a interest of r percent is charged in general so after you have what happens actually they have divided loan into some parts right and on each part they are trying to put the uh, put the interest right and then they are trying to find the uh, uh, installment right and they are dividing into three installments here okay so that their total loans uh, uh, plus uh, total loan plus interest will add up to all your loan amount that's the fund here right so now if i see if my first installment is rupees p that includes what that includes a uh, one year interest Okay, and I I I will say that it is some part of loan, right? So obviously, let's say for example, just for example, let's say just let's amount amount is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Let's say value of P. So one lakh twenty thousand was not not my whole amount, right? Basically, three lakh thirty one thousand would be divided in some parts, and on one part the interest they charge for one year and it become one lakh twenty thousand. On the other part, they will charge interest for two years because my second installment again again rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Let's say for example. If my second installment is again one lakh twenty thousand, so that means on some part they have charged interest for two years, okay, and they are charging charging me one lakh twenty thousand again from me, 
and again let's say for example in the third installment also value is 1 lakh 20 thousand just for example i'm taking this number 1 lakh 20 thousand right if third installment is also 1 lakh 20 thousand so on the third installment what what they are doing actually on this third installment what they are doing they are on that part of loan they are charging interest for three years right r percent r percent r because i am paying that for after three years right huh and then i'm paying 1 lakh 20 thousand to them right so basically, so my aim will be if I just try to make all this interest installment free, uh, sorry, installments interest free, right? For example, if if I have these values here, of okay, so for example, let's say uh, these are my values, okay. So if my first installment rupees P, it includes interest. If I make it interest free, if I make it interest free, right? Then this it will give me that part of loan on which interest was charged. Correct, right? Okay. Similarly, my second rupees P. Okay. If I again, again, this also, if I make interest free. Okay. So again, it will give me that part of loan. Okay. On which interest was charged for two years. Here interest was charged for one year. And again, if rupees third P, if I make it interest free. Okay. So again, it, it gives me that part of loan. Okay, on which interest was charged for three years, and I had to pay rupees P on that, right? Okay, so let's, let's rub this one lakh twenty thousand. You are just an example. Okay, let's rub this one lakh twenty thousand here. Okay, so all of you got this fund, I think, right? All of you got this, and basically what what my aim or what the concept behind such question is, I just need to make these values interest free. I just need to make these values interest free, right? Interest free, correct. So I'll just make all these values interest free. Okay. So how do you make it interest free? So obviously let's say X is my principal amount. R percent interest is charged on it. So what is my amount here? Amount becomes X into one plus R by hundred. Okay. This amount I've given as uh, uh, this, this is my principal amount and is my A amount on this, right? So here, uh, this, whatever it includes interest, right? So here it basically here it includes interest. Okay. So this is my principal amount and is my amount here. So let's say in my case, in my case, I can say that this value is rupees P, not principal, right? This value is rupees P because P is P includes interest, right? And what is this X? This X is interest free value. So I wanted my interest free value. What is that? So X will be equal to what? Ah, so if P is equal to X into one plus R by hundred, what is the value of X here? P upon one plus R by hundred. Or we got this. Very important point, right? Anna. So on X rupees R percent interest is charged. So the the P, which is my installment value, not the principal. Don't confuse confuse with principal, right? My installment value here. My installment values includes interest. Okay. So this P will become X into one plus R by hundred, and this X is the interest free, right? Obviously, uh, this is X is interest free amount. Okay. So what is the value of X here? P upon one plus R by hundred. Similarly, so this is the value of this. This is after one year. This is after one year. Now, for after one year, power is one, right? Now, same thing will happen after two years. What will happen now? So, let's say uh, X was my inter let's say Y was my interest free value here, right? And on Y, they charge the interest of two uh, two times they charge, right? They charge interest for two years. So, on Y rupees, they have charged the interest for two years. So, what does that become, guys? It becomes Y into one plus R by hundred is square. Correct. And this is my second installment. This was my first installment P here. Okay. This one, this is my second installment P here. Okay. Both P's are equal, right? Not necessarily, necessarily in every question, but here, here they are equal. Okay. There are three equal annual installments. So second installment is P rupees, right? So I can say here again now, what is the value? So I can write here, this is equal to P. So what is my interest free value is Y? Interest free value is Y. What is the value of Y here? P upon one plus R by hundred is square. Correct. Now, so now, so similarly, uh, the third, let's say it is Z, the interest free value is Z, right? Here was X. What is the value of Z? You can similarly think that it is Z, guys. So Z will be equal to P upon one plus R by hundred Q. Okay. And then you can just, these are all the interest free values, right? So obviously the total loan amount, I'll be getting X plus Y plus Z should be my total loan amount. Correct, right? And because I've made all the installments interest free. So those are the parts of loan and three parts of loan will give me total loan because three installments has paid up the total. I paid I, by paying three installments, I paid up the, paid up the completed up the total loan here, right? So now 
uh, let's move to uh, the main question, right? Because all these, this is a very good concept. Okay, so remember this concept. You can use all this in CI installment questions, right? Okay. Now, so let's move to the uh, this question, main question now, and let's solve it directly now. So you can just solve directly, guys. Okay, don't need uh, that much uh, uh, funda now. Once you are uh, thorough with it, okay. So what I'll do here, guys. So just I'll put here, okay. That let's say my loan amount is my loan amount is three lakh thirty one thousand. Okay. Now the first installment is P, second installment is P, and third installment is also P. So first installment is also P, second installment also P, third also P. So interest free value of the first installment is what? P upon one plus R by hundred. Okay. Interest free value of second installment. P upon one plus R by hundred square. Interest free value of third installment P upon one plus R by hundred Q. Getting it right? Same thing, right? Okay. Just uh, to uh, give you a quick uh, image in your mind. Okay, what has happened here? So what we are doing here is let's say this P rupees, right? P. So P, P, and P, and this is my loan amount here. So interest free value of first P P upon one plus R by hundred. Interest free value of second P P upon one plus R by hundred square. Interest free value of third P, P upon one plus R by hundred Q, and if I add all this, I'll get the total loan amount because all these parts of loan are interest free now. That's the funda, right? Okay. So now, uh, let's finish, finish this question here, guys. Okay. So now you can just solve, do the calculation part, guys. Okay. So I know that R equal to ten percent. You can just put R if you put R ten percent. So uh, it will become three lakh thirty one thousand. Ah, P I can take it as common here. So one upon one plus ten by if you put R as ten here, it becomes one point one, right? One plus ten by hundred is one point one. Similarly, one point one square will be one point two one. Okay, so one point one square will be one point two one here. Fine. One by one point two one. And similarly, one point one Q will be one point one three three one because eleven Q is one thousand three thirty one. So if you take this as uh, LCM, right? So to just take that one point three three one as the LCM because this is uh, one. This is actually one point three three one is eleven Q. Okay, eleven Q, and you can just put a decimal here as one point one Q. Okay, one point two one is one point one is square, and one point one. Right, so in that it goes like that. Okay, so now I can just this is I this is one this is basically one point one Q. So I just multiply uh, here. I just take the LCM. So I just multiply one into one point one square. Okay, so it becomes one into one point one square. Here it becomes uh, again and to make it one point it is already one point one square. I need to make it one point one Q. So I multiply by one point one and then here lastly one. So it becomes one point two one plus one point one is two point three one plus one is three point three one. Okay, so see data will perfectly cut. Now it will simply cut all the data, right? So I, it, I'll be getting here three lakh thirty one thousand is equal to p into three point three one upon one point one three three one. Obviously this will get cancelled, right? Okay, huh? So you can see the zeros here. The value of p will be what here? It will be one lakh thirty three thousand one hundred. That is the value of p. Okay. Now the another part of question here says that. Okay. So this is the first part of question. The another part of question uh, says that. Okay. Yeah. You can look at this question here. Okay. This is another part of question here says that. He also borrowed rupees y from Mr. Sadhu and he did not charge any rate but no, got assurance from him that prince will pay an amount equals to half of his yearly house installment yearly every year to him. So what I can say here is okay. So in the second part, I can say that uh, his yearly installment is rupees one lakh thirty three thousand one hundred. So half of one lakh thirty three thousand one hundred that is it should be sixty six thousand five hundred and fifty. Yes, sixty six thousand five fifty. This is the yearly uh, amount he's paying to Mr. Sadhu, his friend. Okay, and he's doing that till all the three annual installments are cleared, right? So that means the total amount he paid till now is sixty six five five zero into three. So sixty six thousand into three is one lakh ninety eight thousand, and then it becomes one lakh ninety nine thousand six fifty. Okay, so that's the amount he paid till now to Mr. Sadhu 
till his all the installments uh, to the bank are paid now okay now basically uh, and at the last he is paying rupees 55000 extra to mr sadhu to clear all his uh, uh, amount uh, amount borrowed right so now why what is why guys so about apart from paying all this rupees 199650 he is paying 54000 extra that what is the amount here amount is rupees 253000 sorry 2 lakh uh 54 this 50 sorry it is 55000 yeah. 55000 so it becomes 2,54,650 that's the answer okay so very good question guys very conceptual question that this question will clear your lots lots of question uh, confusion about compound interest uh, installment question okay so one more this uh, uh, question i have discussed in the, in the previous video about uh, how to handle compound interest installment question one more question like this will clearly uh, clear all your concepts regarding this okay so yeah yes so after this mind blowing question this weekly scholarship test guys okay so do give this weekly scholarship test combat uh, it contains some really good high quality questions of quant lrdi and verbal the real high quality questions along with uh, the questions are basically curated to check your basic concepts also okay and some good really high quality questions and sets in lrdi and quants along with verbal uh now it has been uh, more rewarding actually so basically if you get rank 1 to 3 in this test you get one year plus subscription for cat for free i think it's cost is around 18000 so that's great right otherwise you can see all these ranks uh, there are different scholarship for different ranks here okay and apart from these scholarships that's one way to give this test right it is one motivation okay but the other thing is you got to take cat multiple times before actual cat i mean to say you got to give lot of test before cat right and the questions are of good high quality it is actually more uh, beneficial right so it will contain beneficial high it, it will be beneficial for, for all of you because it contains high quality questions plus it is held at, it, it is held in every week at sunday on sunday 12 pm okay so every sunday 12 pm it is held just use the invite code ravi rodha okay this will ask uh, it will ask for invite code there use it ravi rodha okay and then you can access to this test every sunday 12 pm I'll for this Sunday I'll put the link in description also. You can enroll from there. Otherwise, you just go to an academy app, click on tests, and you can see all the combats here, right? So start make uh, just make start uh, making this a habit, guys. So every Sunday 12 p.m. do give this test. So I, I tell all my students to give this test. Very important. Giving tests are very very important. Even if you score low, it's fine. But giving high quality tests are very 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 important. Okay. And more words, more words. A one hour test. So it's a small test also. Okay. and apart from all that you get all live rankings okay every after every question all the ranks are displayed so it's a bit of fun also right so fun plus test plus rewarding everything okay so do give this combat on this sunday 12 pm and then every sunday 12 pm okay thank you